like you say, we we in today's world we're growing in at an exponential pace, and this is something you also touch in depth in Stereo Messenger, and. It seems that, you know, my my conversations with my grandmother on, you know, I might do, I might make a living on YouTube interviewing the most brilliant minds. What's YouTube? What's a podcast? Right. <laughs> Th- those things. I want to be a YouTube influencer. What? Yeah. <laughs> that, that Those things never existed. And it seems to me that with the rise of AI and with everything else, in five years, I won't even know what I'm going to be, the money that, you know, my all their younger generations will be making with or their careers. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you also discuss that we will never know in where, what precisely position we are in the exponential curve. But with your assessment, where do you see our technological advances right now? And especially with, with AI in terms of the exponential curve, are we on the beginning stages still do you feel that we're maybe in the middle or later on? Of, of, of an exponential period? Yes. There's no sign that it will let up. It's a, it's going continuously. As long as you have actively funded research projects, there'll be discoveries happening at an ever rapiding, uh, at an ever quickening pace. Hmm. So, um, so no. No, I think it's... Uh, we're still there in the exponential, deep in it. And part of of this conversation is you you touch on the on your vision for twenty fifty, the predictions that you have for <laughs> twenty fifty. And for our listeners who haven't really read your book, I would love for you to to discuss those predictions, and also with a second question that is, will we ever really resist the temptation of destroying ourselves before reaching those really great predictions that you have? Yeah, the predictions I offer just because I passed judgment on 150 years of other people's predictions where most of what they said just came out flat out wrong. Mm -hmm. So I said, let me not make fun of them and not also put myself out there for people to make fun of me when the time comes. So I offer a set of predictions for the year 2050. uh, 2050, right. And... Uh, so that way, people can laugh at what I got right or wrong uh, when 2050 rolls around. One of those predictions was that we will resist the temptation. You know, we we're talking about AI. We'll resist the temptation of merging machines with our brains with machines. Well, with... I base that on the fact that we have resisted that from the beginning. And uh, so... I figured, why do, should I think that's going to change? And so I didn't presume that. But but, but the, the second part of the point you made was what did you say? The 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 that we if we're going to receive the temptation of of destroying ourselves or yeah 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 because we're we are. I don't think we want to destroy ourselves, but we certainly will have the power to do so. Mm-hmm. And getting back to the point about are we as wise as we need to be to provide the proper guidance for the power of the technology we wield. It generally lags behind, but it moves. It does move forward. Um, it does. Um, we had the, f- the Second World War, and then the United Nations was formed, and there were treaties, and, and we have not had a world war since then. Uh, this is the longest period, even Putin in Ukraine notwithstanding, mm-hmm. this is the longest period in anyone's history books where Europe is at peace with itself, all right? Yes, we have this war between Ukraine and the Soviet Union, um, but Ukraine is not fighting other countries within Europe or other... I mean, just look at Europe. The history of Europe and what it's been for the past now 70 years, it's remarkable, actually. So I think we do learn lessons, however slowly and however... uh, you know, at, at whatever cost that that requires. And it, it seems that the, the, there's this thin line, you know, that we don't want to cross in destroying ourselves, but there's this, you know, this dance between innovation, exploration, and also self-destruction. And 
my concern is that you know hopefully we get to see your 2050 predictions but yeah. we're around for whether or not the predictions come true we want to be alive for 2050 regardless yeah. exactly exactly yeah. i i hope 